See, first of all, I'm not surprised that it's the Hindu that's doing the lit fest because uh, to people like me, it's been one of the most intellectual newspapers possible right from the time that I took to reading newspapers. And uh, when I was living in Calcutta, which was in the 70s and 80s and 90s, my family used to get the Hindu and it used to come a day late. And we used to look forward to it essentially because of all the writings that we used to find in it. People like R.K. Narayan were regular contributors. M. Krishnan who used to speak about nature and wildlife. This was yet another series that we used to always love. So I'm really not surprised that it's the Hindu that's taken this initiative. It's entirely in keeping with the Hindu's brand image. What I'm really amazed at is the success that has followed in the wake of this Lit for Life festival. I, you know, I'm a little cynical and I would have thought that it would have not got this kind of crowd. But over the years, I find that it's been a fantastic initiative with so many people coming and lots of young people coming. That I think really makes for a big difference. See, I'm involved with the music festival in this city in a big way. And I find that the audience there is principally very elderly. On the contrary, here I find that you have a lot of youngsters coming in. And that I think speaks volumes for the fact that it's been a very popular festival. And I wish it all the best and I'm sure it will continue to, for the years to come.